This man makes a dummy head out of newspaper and clay, painted with color, dabbed with hair, and then put it under the covers. It looks as if he is asleep. When he is ready, he drills through the vent, covering the fake vent. Frank had just gotten out. The guards came in, seeing how early he'd gone to bed. He was a bit strange, but the guards didn't think much of it. Frank climbed up the pipe to the top floor, to the top of the prison. There was no way forward. There was no way up. But there's a barred window up there. It's a long way up. He can't even touch it. He doesn't think he'll get out tonight. On the other side, the guard comes on patrol again. He asks Frank's cellmate next door. Why is Frank in bed so early today? The cellmate answers his patient. Suddenly the baton fell to the ground and made a noise. Frank still didn't move. At this point, the guard became suspicious. He reached out to grab Frank. Just then, Frank woke up. It turned out that Frank had come back early. The second operation. Frank took his accomplice, who had also dug the hole. He came to the top floor under the barred window. Frank climbed up on his partner's body, but the window was very hard. It was impossible to open. The two men had to give up. That day in the auditorium, Frank found a small fan that had broken down. As he was packing his things to go back, he decided to walk up to it and put the fan straight into the box. The movement was smooth and unobtrusive. No one noticed. As he was leaving, the guard suddenly says he needs to check a box. 